of that lead cutting. <laughs> kind of slow, but it's the last one. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so how many holes of the lead are there? <laughs> how many bolts? How many bolts total? Oh, we're somewhere between 28 and 32. There we go. <laughs> well, it's a 28, 32, I guess. <laughs> Just keep putting them in. There you go. As long as Pete makes them, we got to put them in. <laughs> yeah, when you can stop a whole hog, that's not so bad. Is the other bit too long? Oh, it was for the wood part. We could probably switch to it now. That might be better for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. you don't want to choke this thing out. Can we off the side of the lid or the bottom? Can you see water gushing in yet? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can... Wait, if you look down that hole, you can see daylight. That's a not, not bad. Well, um, we were asked some questions about how we were able to drill the holes in the lead. And I guess what I wanted to bring up is first, uh, non-ferrous metals alloyed the lead for us with 2% antimony, which made it uh, very easily to machine. And then these bits here are a standard um, barefoot auger bit. They were both brand new when we started. First we drilled through the wood um, with the bit, and then after the lead was put on, we used that wood hole as a guide and we bored the lead out with these augers. They're very long. We had to pull the chip up through over 30 inches of wood and so we used paste wax in the lands here in order to keep them slippery and we used a little bit of cutting oil and that helped keep the chip clear. The, this is an extra long double twist so we're able to get the chip to go way up before it would jam. If you jam the chip into the hole then you're in trouble. So that's how we drill the holes. We'd allow the chip to come up to about here, then we'd extract it, take the chip out, and then drill again. And then for boring, the first tool we used was this spur bit with a pilot. And we used this in the wood and in the lead. Now the only downside to this was it's, it's two and a half inch diameter, and that was also the diameter of our nut washer combination. So after we bored with this tool, we followed with this tool, and this tool is a spot facing milling tool that is two and five eighths. This cleaned the hole out to two and five eighths, and then we're able to have the clearance we needed for the washer. So I hope that answers any questions, and feel free to contact us at our website if you do have any. Thank you.